graphical improvements, but it had the best compatibility of any PlayStation emulator. They regularly released compatibility updates, and they were careful to not step on Sony's toes. The software could only play games using the original disc, and was region locked. However, wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Is this fake news? You see, the PS1's region locking and copy protection work by Sony planting a special wobble on the disc. It will, when it's reading the disc, it actually um, has a it's like a circuit piece of circuitry in the CD-ROM drive that like auto adjusts the ASO to focus on the disc, and um, Sony pressed their discs in such a way that it would do it um, so the disc would wobble while reading um, the disc, right? And then the PS1 could detect that wobble, and then um, if the wobble was present, it would know it's a legitimate disc. If it wasn't present, it knew it was a copy, right? Because PS1 would only uh, accept discs that weren't copies, obviously. And um, a CD-R wouldn't have such a wobble on it. So he's trying to tell me, gaming historian here, is trying to tell me that the Connectix Virtual Game Station enforced Sony's region locking and copy protection? Really? How? It can't read it. A normal CD-ROM drive cannot read the wobble on a PS1 disc. It just can't. There is no... Nothing you can tell the CD-ROM drive to say, tell me your... your... Fo how you're focusing the ASO on the disc so I can actually emulate how the PS1 handles copy protection. You, you can't do that with a CD-ROM drive. You can, <laughs> you can request sectors from the disc, and... If it's CD-RW or a CD-R, you can tell it to write to the disc. But you can't really do much else besides that. Like, there probably is some other functions you can do, like, to get, like the size of a disc or like what type of disc it is. But generally, you can't, you can't, you know, read the wobble data from the disc. You just can't. That was why it works for copy protection because, well, you can't burn that on the disk either. In fact, it's, all, it's actually already burnt with some other information, if I remember correctly. But, besides, you can't read it from a normal DD-ROM drive. But, gaming historian here is saying that not only did they only accept the official disk, but it was also region yarked. Now, the region yarking works basically the same way as copy protection. Um, what there are different wobbles for each region, and each PlayStation just checks for its one for its own region, which actually um it's reads it in such a way that it reads a character encoding off it, and it has to spell like S C E A or S C E J or whatever whatever region you're in. Um, but yeah, that's there's no way it could the Connect Social Game Station could read that data off PS One disc. I'm telling you now, there is absolutely no way it could. So, this guy is spreading fake news. Or more like he, he just got it wrong because he read it from some website somewhere and thought it was true. Not really understanding that that's not really possible. But hey, what can I do? It's just some random guy and he way more subscribers than me. <sighs> this has been Silica. Goodbye.